Hello everyone, welcome to my chatbot with TribeScript in Python tutorial series and this is the first video of this series in which I will introduce you to TribeScript and how to create a chatbot with them. So first of all, I have a chatbot already created which I will be sh which I am showing you here. So let's just say hello now and it says hi sir and let's say who are you it says I am Javis let's say my name is Ashtosh and it says nice to meet you Ashtosh and if I ask it what is my name it should say you are Ashtosh right ok so it says you told me your name is Ashtosh and that's good so this is what we'll be building today and actually there's more features so such as shut up okay if you don't want me to talk i'll be quiet sir let's just say hello and it says you said me to shut up and if we say just talk now it says okay i will talk now sir so that's what we'll be building today and there are still some bugs I have to fix but that's what we'll be building basically through this tutorial series so first we will create the chatbot in our own system and then after that we'll integrate it on discord and then we will host it on a free server such as Heroku that's for later so first what is RiveScript so RiveScript is a simple scripting language for chatbots with a friendly easy to learn syntax create your own chatbot in go java javascript pull up by them and just to know there is another mode in uh, rivescript which enables it to be used in any language which is json but we won't be using it today because we have a interpreter for rivescript in python so essentially rivescript is based off on aiml and it was created around in the year 2000 so basically TypeScript syntax is simpler than AIML and it has a lot of features and you can also run uh, native code if you say hello to the chatbot it just uh, scans for keywords in our statement and then returns a response based on that so if I say hello it has a pattern where it is defined that there is hello and there is any other word after that it should match it and we return a response in that so for that i have random replies such as hello there sir hi there hello there etc so th that is what it does it basically works like a regular expression module first of all we have to install it using pip install write script and it's that simple after that what we have to do is we have to create a folder called chatbot in that folder there will be our brain which is a folder in which it will contain all the dot rive files so i have already created a file called chat dot rive so i am going to use notepad plus plus and i think a package is available in what happens in rive script is first it starts with a symbol every statement starts with a symbol and then there is some simple definition so for example i have to define the version so i'll say exclamation mark then version equals 2.0 after that we have the triggers which match for keywords so let us create a trigger so for example we have a trigger uh, let's just say hello responses start with a minus symbol and the triggers start with a plus symbol so trigger search for keywords in the user's message and then return us a response based on that so one thing i forgot to tell you was that TypeScript uses a normalization which is a part of nlp so what happens is it ignores all the punctuation marks all the capital letters and spaces not all spaces actually so let us define something such as 
hello sir and let us also define hi so let us just say hi sir basically and let's send it here save it with control s and then go to our folder and then in our main file so in here we have to create another python file which will run our bot let's just call it bot.py so let's open so let's open it idle so in here what i have to do is first i have to import ripe script from from ripe script so i'll say from ripe script import ripe script with a capital r and capital s after that what i have to do is i have to i have to create a ripe script object so for that i'll say bot equals ripe script sorry ripe script after that we have to sort replies so we'll say bot dot sort replies and i don't have much of idea what this statement does here but i think it basically loads it. yeah so before that i forgot we have to brain so what we have to do is let's just say bot dot load directory now in here let's let me define brain and which i'm going to define in a minute so before we define brain what we have to do is we have to import os dot part os dot path so why i am doing this i am doing this to be able to run on multi, multi platform because when we will be hosting the bot um, i am not sure the heroku servers is linux or windows or mac but if it is any other os then what happens is windows uses backward slashes and other os uses forward slashes which is an issue with path so what we have to do is we have to join the path so i'll say file equals os dot path dot the name in here a variable called file after that i have to join it so i'll say brain equals os dot path dot join now in here i have to join file with brain this gets the absolute path of the main file wherein and this gets and after that it joins it with a directory called brain and the absolute path of our file and then we can load it so after that bot dot sort replies then we have to be in a mm, forever loop so that we can we can return statements and get the responses continuously so while true message equals string input in here i have to say you and in here after that i will check if it is if the message equals q and if it is we have to quit so i'll say if msg equals equals q then we'll quit then we'll break after that else bot dot reply now in here i have to put local user which is the user which we'll be learning later 
after that the message which is msg and we have to print it so i'll say print in here i have to put bot plus this i think it's good for now let us run let us run it and check if our bot works so let me say hello it says hello sir let me say hi it says hi sir so that's a simple bot for this video i'll be teaching you other things in the next videos coming don't forget to subscribe my channel if you like the video please give it a like and share this video with other people